Here is another ovary. You might have a hard time believing that because there are no features in this tumor to, that appear like normal ovary. You know this is all normal adenocarcinoma. So you know it's a Mullerian derived. If the cells generally uh, took on, or the whole structure generally took on a cystic configuration, you might call it a cyst adenocarcinoma. If it was cystic and benign appearing, you might call it a cyst adenoma. If the cells secreted a lot of uh, mucin, you might call it mucinous. If the cells had the darker cytoplasm and uh, did not appear to secrete mucin, you might call it serous. But the one thing, and if the uh, malignant glands took on a papillary configuration, you would also have the right to call it papillary. These are all the adjectives applied to uh, tumors of the ovary. But the one thing you absolutely must call it and can call it, because it is, is adenocarcinoma, because that's what uh, just about all of the Mullerian-derived carcinomas of the ovary eye are. And quite clearly, you could see this has all the classical features of an adenocarcinoma. You can see large, dark nuclei. You could see a uh, very bizarre cell. You could see an increased mitotic rate. This looks like some kind of a bizarre mitosis over here. You could see infiltration. And um, you can also see that although this general clump of cells here doesn't look like it's doing much, if you look around some more, you could see that uh, many parts of the tumor appear to be making glands by virtue of having a sort of a, either a circular configuration or perhaps vacuoles inside of their cytoplasm. Thank you very much. Another adenocarcinoma of the ovary.